Uh, hello YouTube, back once again with my film reviews, and uh, today I saw the new uh, movie Dope, and uh, yeah, let's talk about this one. Um, well, the, what the film is about is about these three, these three uh, nerdy kind of kids who, uh, high schoolers who live in a very poor, very drug, uh, very drug and violent neighborhood, um, and, uh, what happens is, though, uh, one night they go to a party, and a drug dealer ends up, uh, ends up hiding a huge thing, a huge, uh, stash of dope in one of their backpacks, and the rest of the movie is the three of them just trying to come up with a way to get rid of it, and that's the movie. Let's talk about it. Uh, well, uh, first, let's talk about the good of this movie. Uh, the three main leads, uh, Shanik Moore, uh, K uh, Kiersey, Clemens and Tony Rivoli. I hope I'm saying these names right. I'm probably not. They were all. They all did such a good job. These three. Mo the the um two of, like because two of them I think have never done anything before. Like the only one who really has was a uh, Tony Revol Revoli as uh, Zero in Last Year's Grand the Grand Budapest Hotel. Um. And yeah, they all did a great job together. They all were. You can always tell they were always giving one hundred percent. Always trying their hardest. They were all. They, they were all really likable with each other. You really felt bad for them for the fact they were in this situation. You were just like, oh god, what? They don't deserve to be in this horrible situation. And and uh, that and uh, they all shared such good chemistry with each other. You really did believe that these three were like really cl good friends with one another. Like, because there's times they piss each other off and just like try to save themselves. But no, like in the end, like they stuck together and they were just very likable, very. Nice from beginning to end, and uh, also for us, one of the uh, supporting roles, uh, Zoe Kravitz, I think that's how you see her name, uh, as uh, the main of the character of the trio, uh, Malcolm's, uh, Malcolm's uh, girlfriend, she was, she was, uh, she just gave a very likable performance, she was not, she was never annoying, you were just never, like, it never just cut back to the love interest plot, you're like, oh my god, why am I watching this, no, she, she gave a, just a very likable, very nice performance that game, and don't have much to say about her. And uh, that, and I really like the message to this film. The message was, uh, the message about racial stereotypes. Like, because the whole thing is, like, the fact that, like, these three main characters are so different than, like, the racial stereotype you would think of them for the fact they're from, like, a poor, a poor, a poor neighborhood. And, like, the, what they want is they want to get into college, they want to get a good job, they want to just, they're very clean people, um, very nice, well-behaved people, um... Even though they come from this background, I really did like the message. Like, and I thought like probably what like most brilliant line in the movie is there's just a line like the main the like the main of the trio, uh, Malcolm, um, uh, Shanique Moore, that that the actor Shanique Moore. Uh, he like he has a brilliant line because this whole thing is he's trying to make it into he's trying to get get into Harvard during the movie while all this stuff with the dope is going on, and he just has a great he has a great line at one point. He just says like. So, so why do I want to go to Harvard? Well, if I was white, would you ask me that question? I thought that was a brilliant line. I thought that was a really well thought out line. And it, yeah, good. So, mes I really did like the message about racial stereotypes. And I thought it was well handled from beginning to end this movie. Let's talk about the bad of this movie. This movie, I feel really bad for this movie. Because you can tell it wanted to be so much more so much more funny and so much more clever than it actually was. It wasn't like a pretentious movie when they're like, oh no, we are the funniest, most clever thing ever. No, you can just tell like they were trying. They were so trying to be like really great, but they just weren't. Like, it just never hit the high point it clearly was trying to gun for. Because, like, you can uh, like you can always tell like, this movie's trying to be really deep, not that many scenes hit it. Then you can also really tell that this movie was constantly just trying to get you bursting out laughing. Only one scene ever really had me laughing as hard as this movie clearly made me want to, but I will say the one scene that did it is freaking hilarious. I was almost in, I was in tears of laughter. Uh, I won't say what it is. I'll just say say it involves uh, it just involves uh, drugs and them and them using uh, and them re re and re the character is referring it to as a sandwich. It's a, a sandwich and uh, freaking hilarious. I was in tears of laughter during that scene and. Um, but yeah, like I said though, this movie wanted, I feel so bad for because you can just tell everyone, the actors, the, the writer, the director, the cinematographer were just trying so hard to be great, but they just didn't. They just weren't as good as they clearly were trying to be. So it's, it's almost kind of hard to watch this, watch this movie because it's kind of sad to watch on that grounds, but 
That and I also have two minor complaints. Um, that um, so, so, some of the characters, uh, there, there's there's a plot point of like how some of the characters are related to each other, and I'm just like it felt really contrived. I was like, really, really. I think you're getting a bit too coincidental with that one. It felt really just really that that I felt pretty contrived, and uh, that in this movie should have ended uh one minute earlier, like because basically like the. Basically, like, one of the main characters, like, his reaction to news he gets that, like, it should have been left vague, but he makes a f it would have been better if they left it vague at the end, but, like, he gave, the character gives a reaction that you're like, this isn't vague, it seems very clear what happened to him, so, that was a bummer, and that's really all I gotta say about this movie, I know, like, I know, like, usually my reviews go on for, like, 20 minutes, but, this movie, all I can really say, was just a movie that wants to be way better than it was, but it w just wasn't. Just all I can say, really, is the message was good, actors were all really likable, and that, and the only real complaint was it just was never as good as it clearly wanted to be, and, um, what a pity. So, for final rating, I'm gonna give, uh, Dope, don't get me wrong, Dope is not a bad movie. I'm gonna give Dope a very solid... Three out of five. It is a decent movie. It is a decent watch. You will not be angry at all watching this if you go see this. All I can say though, for the films, for the big films that come out, the Sundance this year, me and Earl and the Dying Girl was way just thousand times better than this movie. So if you only see one of those two movies, go see me and Earl and the Dying Girl instead of Dope. But all I can say, I hope the three main leads, since they really haven't done uh, two of them, like I said, have done nothing besides this. I hope they all get good, good careers after this, because they did all, because they all did a great job and just gave so much effort for their roles that they really are what held this movie together. Like, if it wasn't for them, I'd probably say, well, that movie wasn't worth watching in the slice. They held it together. So, uh, YouTube, as always, please subscribe. I will see you next time. Okay, bye.